Folks, this is a perfect opportunity to investigate a very spooky 200 year old house with no one else around. We That's think. What we're gonna do. Is anybody here who wants to talk with us? Yeah. Come talk with us. That's the basis. Oh, and that's the pot. Mm -hmm. That's the back of the pot. Yes. Okay. We're here at the Bratton House in Brattonsville, South Carolina, not far from the battlefield. This was uh, the main house in the area. We know there had, a, had to have been a lot of triumph and tragedy in this house. If there is anyone here still living in this house after all these years, we'd love to know who you are. Please speak into the light on this little black box that I'm holding and it will let us know you're here. Get anything on the uh, phantom radar? We have one with us. Where is it standing? Over here. Behind court. Two. Well, there's two here, but. Well, they're all, always behind court. Right. They're oh. yellow and blue, so they're not. They're not all that strong. No, they're faint, huh? Yeah. Once again, if you could speak into this little black box, or move towards this device that I'm holding with the little green lights on it, yeah, let us know that you're here. What's that? Mean? Yes, I see two yellow right, right over here. So they're following what you're saying. Yeah, tell them what to do. Please move towards this box that I'm holding. This one right here with the green lights. They're doing it, but they are so faint that they're not even registering a, an EMF. Please. Use the energy around you, anything from our electronics. Are they still with us, Nick? There's one, there's a blue one. No, two. Cool. cool. They're going to follow us then. They are, they're wanting to know. They, they want to communicate with us. Yay! It's right by that grave. It's right by Courtney while, while she's reading it. That's funny. What is? An entity, an entity or a spirit. It blue. It must be. But it's weak, but it's there. As soon as Corny came, it started walking towards there. Corny as soon as Corny started reading it. It must be here. It must be here. Right there. Oh, now yellow, too. Now there's the yellow, too. He was a very they want to communicate with us. Mourn. Mourn. Because it's yeah. a gravestone. Because it's a gravestone. Right. And that's where she comes in. It's beautiful. This is very, very cool. Man, I wouldn't mind living in this house. <laughs> That's funny. I feel like I'm in Gone with the Wind. Widow. Widow? I thought it said window. <laughs> Really? Like three. Wow, three in, three of them in here. Well, there's a lot and of... And there's a red. You know what? Right. Notice all the objects in here. Yes. You yes. know what they say about haunted objects? Right. There's Dr. William Bratton up there. Something personal. Glasses. Wow. This is so cool. Okay, that's for you. It's an owl. there's more than one right so they're saying what's relevant to them sure not so much of well, there's an upstairs if we want to go upstairs wait i'm not even sure if we're allowed to be in here 
Yes, we are. Thank you. Our paid customers currently. Hey folks, Bobby J. Gallo here, and I hope that you are enjoying this episode of Gallo Family Ghost Hunters. But I know what you're saying. You're saying, Bobby, where can we get some of that elite equipment that you guys use on Gallo Family Ghost Hunters? Well, the answer is simple. Ghostgear.info. Just go to that site and you'll see a listing of all the gear that we actually use on our investigations, including the Ghost Meter Pro that you see on virtually every episode of Gallo Family Ghost Hunters. So once again, go to ghostgear.info, check it out, and you will see links there that you can actually click and use to order your very own paranormal investigative equipment. Right, Vudini? <laughs> He's not much of a conversationalist, really. this box and pick out a word. Cyrus. Thank you. Cyrus. Definitely sounds like a name from back in the day. Cyrus. Can you pick out another relevant word? Something maybe in this room? This must be for a lady's room. That's funny. This must have been a lady's Alexandra and we're in a lady's room. Really? Wow, could you imagine if this was a and woman named Alexandra occupied this room at one point? How cool would that be? Totally. Probably a guest of the house. Victoria. Alexandra and Victoria. Where was that list of names for? Victoria, Alexandria? No, any boy. Oh, no. Right. Uh, Because we're in the battlefield, Colonel, makes sense. Yeah. Allison. Time we've gotten a horse. 
So what is all that stuff hanging March. on the ceiling? March. That's where they would dry it out? March. They marched on horseback. Right. So something down here. Did you see the soldiers when they had the battle here? Did you see them march and some on horseback? Right past this house? Please let us know. That's intelligent response right there. What? Horseback in March. Very relevant to where we are. Why don't you appear and talk to us? They're gone. There's no one here, Dad. It probably takes energy, right? To use those words. There were it oh, it takes energy to do anything. Yeah. Sure, absolutely. There are two blues, but they're gone now. Right, because... And you know what? They're gone off the energy graph, Because they're too. trying to communicate. Unrest. Unrest. Oh, boy. Wow. Resting. The energy just stopped off the graph. The graph, and just to let you folks know, we got three. We got horseback, march, and unrest. All very relevant words because obviously whoever's here is not at rest, and they keep seeing the soldiers march and some on horseback, and that's exactly what happened here. Wow. There is there is some following us. I uh, we hear this is the place that you want to be. Okay, here we are, the, ba the Battle of Huck's Defeat. Let's see, uh, Phantom Radar, what's Three. it looking like? Holy Toledo. I saw that. Right when you turned Folks, that. huge, huge EMF spike right here. Huge. Biggest it? one we've gotten all day. Nope. Uh, it's not okay. that. Okay. I just heard footsteps. Wow. Two yellow flanking us. Yep, they're here. One's by here, one's over here. Okay, folks. Nicolette? Yes, okay, I'm coming. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to... Try as hard as you can. I know you don't get a lot of visitors here. It, it's a yellow. It's it's too weak to communicate. Maybe not. Now it's up. Oh, we have contact. Thank you. Ping the needle once for yes and two for no. Are you a Confederate soldier? No. Are you a loyalist? Or are you a loyalist? Are you? A you were a loyalist. So you were a loyalist that, that was killed here. Okay, um, let me ask you a question. Mm, no, I no. can't ask you a question. Are you upset about us being here? Did yes, you, yes. you're did, upset about us being here. Did, you, did we disturb your rest? No. no, because he's not at rest. That's why he's, he's, he's roaming the battlefield. Wow. Um, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you still upset that, that Britain lost the war? Yes, you are. Yes. Yes, you are. Well, we're, we're very... And mm -hmm. we moved on. Folks, before I close this out, Every single one of those answers to the questions made perfect, perfect sense. This is the phantom hand that grabs things. <laughs> this is...